Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Bristol Type 175 Britannia is a retired British medium to long range airliner built by the Bristol Aeroplane Company in 1952 to fly across the Commonwealth. During development two prototypes were lost and the turboprop engines proved susceptible to inlet icing, which delayed entry into service while solutions were sought. By the time development was completed, pure jet airliners from France, the United Kingdom, and the United States were about to enter service, and consequently, only 85 Britannias were built before production ended in 1960. Nevertheless, the Britannia is considered one of the landmarks in turboprop-powered airliner design and was popular with passengers. It became known as the Whispering Giant for its quiet exterior noise and smooth flying, although the passenger interior remained less tranquil. Canada purchased a license to build the Britannia in Canada, adding another 72 aircraft in two variants. These were the stretched Canada CL44 Canada CC106 Yukon, and the greatly modified Canada CP107 Argus Maritime Patrol aircraft. In 1942, during the Second World War, Allied aircraft construction saw the UK out of necessity concentrating on heavy bombers leaving the production of transport aircraft to the USA. This would have left the UK with little experience in transport construction at the end of the war, so in 1943, a committee under Lord Brabazon of Taro investigated the future British civilian airliner market. The Brabazon committee called for several aircraft to be developed to its specifications for Britain's civilian aviation needs. Bristol won the Type 1 and Type 3 contracts delivering their Type 1 design the Bristol Brabazon in 1949. The requirement for the 1946 British Overseas Airways Corporation BOAC Medium Range Empire MRE requirements coincided with the Type 3, specification C247, issued in April 1947 by the Minister of Supply. The specifications called for an airliner capable of carrying 48 passengers and powered with Bristol Centaurus radial engines or Napier Nomad turbo compound diesel engines. Turboprop options were also considered, but they were so new that Bristol could not guarantee their performance, although in company proposals X for conversions of Lockheed Constellations to Centaurus 662 power plants or Y for license production of the Constellation were considered in late 1946, BOAC decided that an entirely new design was preferred. After wrangling between the Ministry of Supply and BOAC over costs the go-ahead for the project was assigned to the company designation Model 175 in July 1948. Three prototypes were ordered with the first being Mark 1 Centaurus 662, and the second and third prototypes designated Mark 2 to be convertible to Bristol Proteus turboprops, then under development. In October 1947, with work already underway, Bristol had settled on a Centaurus-powered design with a gross weight of 103,000 pounds, 47,000 kilograms and a payload of 13,308 pounds 6,008 kilograms. The anticipated Karachi Cairo run necessitated a 48-seat limit including sufficient fuel for the lengthy stage. On 5 July 1949, the Ministry of Supply ordered five such prototypes with the understanding that BOAC would contract for 25 production units. BOAC purchased options for 25 aircraft on 28 July powered by the Bristol Centaurus, but to be refitted with the Bristol Proteus when available. In 1953 and 1954, three de Havilland Comets crashed without explanation which led the Air Ministry to demand that the Britannia undergo lengthy tests. Further delays were attributed to teething problems with the engine resulting in the loss in February 1954 of the second prototype, GALRX, caused by a failed reduction gear that led to an engine fire and the aircraft landing on the mud flats of the Severn Estuary, resolving inlet icing issues by selecting a different cruising height that were discovered as the first aircraft were being delivered to BOAC, 
and which were exaggerated by BOAC that devastated future sales and delayed the Britannia's introduction by two years also took time, following a long period of uneventful development flying trials and the fitting of a modified Proteus 765 series engine that greatly reduced breakdowns. A full certificate of airworthiness was awarded at the end of 1955. The first two Model 102s were delivered to BOAC on the 30th of December 1955 for crew training. The Model 102 began scheduled service on the 1st of February 1957 with a BOAC flight from London to Johannesburg, flights to Sydney following in March and to Tokyo in July. By August 1957, the first 15 Model 102 aircraft had been delivered to BOAC the last 10 aircraft of the order were built as Series 300 aircraft for transatlantic flights. In April 1959, a Model 102 Britannia was leased by BOAC to Ghana Airways for flights between Accra and London, and several more Britannias were purchased by the airline in the early 1960s. The Model 102 was eventually made available to other BOAC associates, including Cathay Pacific, Central Africa, East African, Nigeria and Malayan Airlines. The next production series was based on the Long Range mixed passenger freight model 200 series that was intended for civil airline use, but ultimately Bristol offered the series to the Royal Air Force instead. The production series of three model 252 and 20 model 253 aircraft were purchased by RAF Transport Command in 1959, assigned the designation Britannia C to the first model 252 series and C1 model 253 series. Those in RAF service were allocated the names of stars, such as Arcturus, Sirius and Vega. On retirement from the RAF in 1975, many Model 200 series were subsequently used by independent civil operators for cargo operations, hearkening back to their original intended role. Although the Bristol Model 302 was built first as part of the original BOAC order, BOAC released this series to other airlines Aeronaves de Mexico took two Model 302s which entered service in December 1957. The 18 Bristol Britannia 312s for BOAC were delivered from September 1957 with its service introduction on the first ever non-stop flight from London to Canada on 19 December 1957. In late December 1957, BOAC began regular Britannia flights from London to New York. Other airlines, such as Israel Zelal, also operated the Britannia on transatlantic routes. In 1959 BOAC started flying the Britannia across the Pacific to Tokyo and Hong Kong, thus extending their network around the world. The westbound routing in 1959 for these intercontinental BOAC Britannia flights between the UK and Asia was London to New York, San Francisco, Honolulu, Wake Island, Tokyo and Hong Kong. On 1 April 1958 Canadian Pacific Airlines took delivery of the first of six Model 314 Britannias, with an additional two Model 324s built to a 320 standard arriving later and sold to Cathay Pacific in 1961. BOAC ordered seven Model 302s, but never took delivery. Instead they were taken on by airlines including Aeronaves de Mexico and Ghana Airways. The main long-range series were the three 10s of which BOAC took 18 and after deliveries began in September 1957, put them into service between London and New York City in March 1964. BOAC then owned 50 aircraft, 10 being Britannia 312s. BOAC's last scheduled Britannia flight was April 1965. The 310 series the Model 318 also saw transatlantic service with Cuban and AVAC on starting in 1958. In spite of the Cuban Revolution the airline had a special accord with British aircraft manufacturers to maintain this model of aircraft. In 1975, multiple Cuban Britannias were used to transport hundreds of soldiers of the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces to Angola in Operation Carlota, a proxy war. 
Cubana de Aviación continued to fly its fleet of Britannias until March 1990, following the purchase of remaining spare parts from the Royal Aircraft Establishment and Cubana. Zairoz Airlines continued to operate several Britannias into the early 1990s on regular cargo flights from Endergilly Airport to various destinations within the country. Most aircraft were built by Bristol at Filton, but 30 were built at Belfast by Short Brothers and Harland, due to the extended development instead of a projected production of 180 Britannias only 80 were sold. The negative experience with the development of the Britannia caused BOAC to be more cautious towards other British made aircraft such as the Vickers VC 10. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and until next time.